in the last episode, we were able to achieve the Dragon Axe and accumulated the Berserker Ring in the process, which is going to be so, so helpful during the Slayer grinds coming up. This episode, we're going to complete 82 construction and finally, finally get rid of the two Pharaoh Scepters that we have been holding on to for about six freaking months. We're going to use a plus five stew boost and a plus three crystal saw boost to make the master stash units for a couple of other items too. In total, I believe we'll be able to clear up about eight inventory slots that have been clogging the account for far too long. My name is Damascus. This is the Ultimate Iron Man Progression Season 1, Episode 39. There we go. That is 81 construction. I have one level to go, dude. I am. This is so painful for me. Like, it's not even that difficult, but it's so hard for me to find the willpower to continue doing this, dude. Just one level left. 228,000 experience. I don't. I mean, I, I wanted to do 85, 86, but it's just. Oh, it's so difficult. And with the new updates coming, probably they've already been. Um, hold and potentially in the game now once this video comes out but for me man i don't like doing this method i keep going back to the afk part uh which as you can see over here it's only 43k an hour which is pretty darn unimpressive um and it's all because i'm doing garden benches and i'm afking these teak trees over at the Fossil Island, so if I'm going to be AFKing, I may as well do the Prif Dennis course. I mean, the Prif Dennis area method, whatever, because it's like 70k an hour. But, coupled with the level 82 woodcutting, it'll probably be even less. So, with all of that, I'll come back, hopefully by the end of today. Uh, it's taken me like 7 days to get the last 7 or 8 construction levels, which is pretty... Uh, it's not so great for someone that usually pushes pretty hard, but this this is something that is very, very difficult for me to, like I said, get willpower to continue doing. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll keep I'll keep going. Oh, on my own. All right, so I only need one more T log uh, before I. Oh, that's perfect. Um, I need six mahogany planks. So I'm gonna chop six mahogany logs. Uh, and those are going to be for the three stash units, the three elite stash units. No, not elite. Uh, three master stash units that I want to make. There's one um, in the Enchanted Valley, so I'll have to buy a Lunar Staff because I don't have my Draymond Staff for whatever reason. I guess I dropped it or lost it or whatever. I don't know. But it will house the Dragon Axe because I'm going to retire that one for a little bit. Uh, the second one that I want to make is a long time coming. It's going to be in the seventh room of the Pyramid Plunder minigame. Uh, it's going to house the Pharaoh Scepter, the Menophyte Purple Hat, Menophyte Purple Top, and Menophyte, Menophyte Purple Robe, uh, which is the legs. Um, and you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I've had two Pharaoh Scepters for the longest time. And today is the day we finally get rid of them. Not get rid of them, but... Uh, oh, I got six of these now, so... Um, yeah, so each master stash unit requires two mahogany planks, ten uh, nails, and it looks like a one gold leaf. Yes, so we're going to go make these both into planks by uh, 30 nails really quickly as well. We're going to make the teak ones. Pretty sure, as you see on the side, I only need to make two of them. I'm going to make some mahogany planks uh, by, let's say, 30 of them. So we'll get 30 of those. Hopefully they don't break. 
I got the hammer and the saw. I need to get a different saw, and then I need to get stews as well. But I'm going to get the level first, which is 82. I'm not going to be doing much more construction, probably until the uh, potential update comes out. By the time this is done, oh, I gotta make sure I make T1 throw that up really quick. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take these down just because I don't think I'll be making these ever again. Um, construction's 82. Dude, it's been a long time coming. I had to really push for that. I literally can't talk. I already boosted for all this stuff, um, so that's not a big deal, but 82 is the one that I want. What I want to do first is I want to get a stew and then go to each of the three spots and then put the items away. So I'll be back once I get that. Forgot I need to get a little bit of money, so I'll take out probably a mill should be good enough. Right, gotta buy a bunch of items here. The three gold leaf. leaves, I guess. One, two, three. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So I took some of the items out from uh, the Hespori death storage. I decided on uh, building the occult altar first, so I gotta talk to this guy and get. A souvenir. We get the Arceus signet or Archaea signet, and then we need to get the ancient signet as well. All right, so this dude sells the signet as well as the ancient staff. I am going to purchase the ancient staff because I'll be doing Slayer pretty soon. There we go. We should be good to auto cast ancients. That's awesome. Um, and then the last thing I need to do is get a stew. We'll do one stew at a time, I guess, which is a little unfortunate, but that is what it is. Alright, so I'm in building mode. I need one Ancient Signet, one Pharaoh Scepter, one Arceus Signet, and 5,000 Bloods and 5,000 Souls, which I should have in the inventory. Now I just need to do and get, <laughs> gotta get a plus 5. So we'll see if we get it. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Nope, doesn't look like Alright, second attempt. Oh, uh, we got a plus 2 again. So we're gonna try again. Nope, oh, that was a plus two again. Attempt number three, I have a bunch more stews now. Let's see, that was a plus one or plus nothing. If this one works. Nope, oh, that brought it down. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the Ferrex Enclave, um, which actually I wanna kinda show you because it is safe unless they've changed it. If they've changed it, I'll be so pissed. But basically this whole thing is safe and you just go to the pool of refreshment. It's like uh, going into the Clan Wars portal like we used to do. And that's it. And then just teleport out. This whole place is safe. Just don't go through any of the barriers. I don't know about those. Uh, but yeah. So stats are refreshed. I have a plus five boost coming in. Hopefully. Attempt number four. Nope. Oh, got a negative boost. So I'll have to go back to the Ferrex Enclave. Alright, attempting again. Oh, that's so close, dude. Oh, I can go do this one, though, on the 86. I'm going to try to get two of these done. I can't store anything in it. So I built that. i uh, got to go to Lumberj real quick. Purchase the Lunar Staff. Dude, come on, give me the Lunar Staff. 60k, that's such a ripoff. Cast inside. Might be able to do it. It's BKP, I think. Um, oh, don't, oh, don't have time for that. Stash unit. Uh, BKQ, BKQ. We got a minute to do this. That. Configure. BKQ. I should be able to do it, actually. Here it is, here it is. The hell is that thing? Nice, dude. Uh, and I'm gonna store the Dragon X in there. Perfect, dude. Won't be seeing that one for a while. I don't have enough um, time to go do the last one, so I'm gonna wait until I get that plus five boost. So, yeah. But now that we got all that stuff out of the way, I have a ton of inventory spots so that I can get as many stews in my inventory uh, as I... Ugh, what the heck? I might go... Um, Refresh these up just because I want to be able to do that. I don't know. Actually, I don't think it matters when you put it in here.
Alright, hopefully nobody comes picks that up. I'm gonna try this out again. Oh, we got it, 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 we got it. Oh, baby, we got it. Oh, now I gotta make my way over here. Alright, so basically what I'm gonna do is the reason why I dropped this, sorry for all that spam, is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna run really, really fast uh, through this minigame. Uh, we have a minute 40 uh, before we can do it. We gotta go to the... Uh, fourth room, uh, the seventh room. We'll be able to go. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Don't misclick. 24 seconds. Yes, dude, we built it. Oh, man, that's so awesome. All right, I gotta get some gold uh, pieces so that I can charge this thing up. Yeah, um... I'm gonna risk it, I guess. Oh, the dude's not even in here. Oh, what am I doing? I can freaking eat a stew. <laughs> what am I doing? I dropped all the other stews. That was dumb of me. Use this on the big boy. Use stone artifact. Perfect. So we got six now. Um, to start the mini game, get into seventh room, and then oh no, I can't store this yet. Dude, what am I doing? I gotta leave here. Um, I need to leave here. Come on, pass that to the house. I need to get three dies and then come back here real quick. That's kind of why I wanted to have charges. Uh, one of the easiest ways for me to get dies. I thought I already did this, but apparently not. Um, Build of Hills, I think, is the one. Oh. What the heck? Uh, Battlefield of the... Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Purple die spawn here. You need three of them, so I'm just going to hop world real quick. And then just use the first option. Uh, I need to leave here. I gotta go talk to a dude and then probably go back to Al I think, as well. Because I need the Menafite uh, clothing outfit. Dude's in here somewhere. There he is. Here's your three dies, dude. Yep, got him on you. Okay. Now I believe go back and talk to Ali Morsane. Need those clothes, dude. Need those clothes. Yes, okay. Uh, I believe you need the purple one. Yeah, you need the purple one. The robe. Um, ah, it's not the Dude, this is freaking awesome looking. Dude, I look pog. Wow. All right, so we're going to go through here. And start the minigame, I guess, again. And then run through here. Go to the seventh room and then store it. Right? out these items throw them in there okay good take them throw them in there <laughs> perfect um now i have to get the dragon battle axe and the slayer helmet upgrade so i'll be back once i do that and i'll put them in the stash unit so i got the three items put them in the stash unit here dude that is awesome that's a great way to store two untradeable items oh man that's awesome and the dragon battle axe is going to be used anyways so I want to take a look at the items that I have left because I think that took like six, seven, or eight different items just that I've been holding for so long, especially those Pharaoh Scepters. Um, I've been holding those since uh, 80, uh, 84 Thieving, which was literally like six months ago uh, for me. So I'm just going to open this and take a look, dude. 43 items. Most of them are herbs and seeds. And then a couple of PVM items, um, a couple of throwaway items like Mystic Boots, Barrow's Gloves, can just throw them away. Alchem, basically. Crystal Shield, not going to have that on the account for a while. Adamant Arrows, those are just there because I needed them uh, for some fletching experience. I'm probably just going to sell them off. These two items I can get rid of uh, once I finish Monkey Madness 2. Uh, these Marks of Grace are going to get somewhat used up. I'm going to turn them probably all into MLS Crystals pretty soon. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get rid of the Tome of Fire. Uh, so, a lot of the items that I have, uh, th this Ibn staff is going to go into a stash unit eventually as well with the Mystic Robe Top Dark and the Mystic Robe Bottom Dark. Uh, once I get those from uh, Slayer Drops, I think that's the only way to get them. Um, <clears throat> I can get rid of these Death Runes and Fire Runes, to be honest. So, the bag is going to be really freaking clean. I think one of the things that I'm going to work on next is getting the torso. So that'll take a couple hours. 
Um, and then I'm going to start doing a bit of Slayer so that I can get more seeds so that I can um, get rid of all these herbs and seeds all kind of in like one one fell swoop and get the 77 herbal ore. That's going to make it so that I can use all these toad flax and put them in, uh, make them into brews, which then I'll be able to use to do um, for the fire cape. I want to get the fire cape as soon as possible, although I don't want to do it without brews. So that's kind of the game plan. I don't know if I'm going to get to like 75 Slayer or 80 Slayer before I even get to, to the Fire Cape, but um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Well, I was looking at the max hit calculator and you get a plus one max hit with the Fire Cape. So I'm not sure how much that actually affects it. I'm probably not going to go past 80 Slayer for a while anyways. Uh, this mini grind is just to get 100 combat. So whatever Slayer level I get from that, that's the Slayer level I'll be for a while. Uh, so I don't I personally I don't know but I don't think that one max hit is gonna make too much of a difference or like a million experience or a million and a half experience uh, in the long run because once I get the fire cape I got the fire cape I'll probably never go for the inferno cape uh, but yeah so super happy with how everything worked out I'm done with construction for a pretty long time I'm gonna go get the torso probably the mage cape as well and then i'm gonna start some slayer that's why i got the um ancient staff so that i can auto cast ancient spells while i'm doing slayer and that's also why i upgraded the altar in the house to the occult altar we haven't used it yet i'm gonna use it really quickly dude oh this is so good um we go to ancient goes right on to ancient go to lunars go to arceus oh dude that's so awesome that's so awesome, dude. And then we want to do standard. Perfect. That's going to be a really, really big help on the account for Slayer.